After months of feigned outrage and apologies on behalf of everyone else, a new report by the Globe and Mail shows that the Prime Minister's office invited a Nazi to his diplomatic reception Shame. in Toronto. He blamed the Speaker, saying that he acted alone. He's saying he had no idea about any of it. He called him. He called for him to take responsibility. He watched him resign, and yesterday he tried to blame the Ukrainian Congress. After all of the embarrassment, all over the world. Why is he above the rules that he applies to everyone else? Yeah, the Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, what we're talking about is a uh, uh, name that came from a, co a community organization. Obviously, the Prime Minister had no knowledge of this, but here, we know what is happening over here. We are voting today at third reading on the Canada-Ukraine free trade arrangements. Mr. Zelensky stood there and asked us to pass this. Their opposition to this bill is a moral failing a moral failing of historic proportions in response to an effort to support our friends in Ukraine and repel the Russian invaders. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. What an embarrassment it must be for the House Leader to have to clean up the Prime Minister's mess every day. The invitation had the Prime Minister's name on it. It came from him. And for months, he said only the Speaker invited him. It turned out not to be true. His own House Leader said that the invitation merited a Speaker's resignation. The Speaker resigned because of him, and all of them watched him do it. So will the Prime Minister be subject to the rules that he imposes on everyone else? The Honourable Government House Leader. Again, Mr. Speaker, another small conflagration to mask their larger historical moral failing of not supporting the people and the armed forces of Ukraine and the president of Ukraine who stood in this very chamber not months ago and asked us to support the Canada-Ukraine free trade arrangements. Then they voted against Operation Unifier and support for our troops that once again supports Ukraine. What is next, Mr. Speaker, and why will they not stop trying to hide their moral failings?